Okay, so some very exciting news just came out. So, apparently, the Legendary Squadron team that first showed up in Super Mega Force and originally known as Die Ranger is going to be showing up to the Power Rangers universe. And how best to do it? In the Power Rangers universe comic book. So, the origins of this team are they're the 17th Super Sentai team. Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger. So they're very much uh, Chinese martial arts inspired, even visually speaking. But there's going to be a little bit of translation. Um, not even localization. I, would, I, I wouldn't call it localization necessarily, but they're going to be made more a little bit alien um, in the comic book. Uh, Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger was used... For the Zords, the weapon designs, and the toys for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 2. However, they did not um, actually adapt the Rangers themselves. They kept the Rangers from Zoo Ranger. Um, and and that's uh, that was a smart decision, I would say. Not everybody would agree, uh, but... You know, for iconography purposes, uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers first three seasons really established the brand. So the look of Zoo Ranger, that's that 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 helped. You know, keeping it steady for a while. Um, it, I mean, it did kind of start to decline and was not as popular after the first three seasons. But of course, like me, everybody really wanted um, some level of die ranger representation in uh power rangers and we eventually got it in power rangers super mega force uh there was just a little bit of world building it was not you know enough to satisfy a lot of people because the way they did it is um by way of the ranger keys uh zordon uh not zordon sorry zordon's um mentee or uh ward Gosei, who was eventually the mentor of the Megaforce Rangers, gave the legendary uh, Ranger keys to the Megaforce Rangers for the legendary squadron. Now, the legendary squadron and a few other older Super Sentai series were introduced as powers never seen before. So, you know, that's just a little bit of world building. Technically speaking, we didn't really need uh, that much. I wouldn't call it a missed opportunity there. There are a lot of other missed opportunities in Super Mega Force. That probably isn't one of them. It's just great that, you know, there's acknowledgement that there's other teams. But here we are with Boom Studios. They've already started adapting um, Prism Rangers. Uh, the Flash uh, Flashman team from Super Sentai, um, and they've already adapted Five Man, the Supersonic Rangers, and this would be the third that they'd be adapting so far, which is Die Ranger, which is the Legendary Squadron. Now, interestingly enough, let's talk about these designs because these designs are definitely, definitely inspired by the. Die Ranger designs. Okay, so um, the thing with the Die Rangers is the uh, and the White Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Ranger because Power Rangers because he is from Die Ranger is that his belt is the Chinese uh, spiral square and you will see it evident in the civilian garb that these um, legendary Squadron Rangers are wearing. Now, credit where credit's due, uh, the Illuminati were the first to reveal. Uh, people are calling it rumors. That was not a rumor. That was a scoop. They literally got the scoop that we are getting the Die Rangers in comic book form. And they were the first to report it. Now, the reveal was not included in the actual article. The reveal of the Rangers, visually speaking... Um, was shown in the Fan First Friday, December 10th uh, for uh, Eastern Standard Time. 
So now what do we get? So we get the core rangers red, blue, green, yellow, and pink, and we get an additional black ranger as reported by the Illuminati. We don't get the ranger form for black yet, but it's quite obvious that these are the legendary squadron rangers from the Chinese square spiral designs that are all over their costumes. But more than this, the square spirals, there is one more thing. If you look closely at their chest emblems, I guess you can. I don't know if they're um, gonna be uh, the same iconography as their power coins, if they do have those. But the emblems are, for the Red Ranger, it's the Red Dragon. For the Pink Ranger, it's uh, the Firebird. For the Blue Ranger, it's the Unicorn. For the Yellow Ranger, it's the Griffin. And for the Green Ranger, it's the Lion. Now, in case you guys are, um, you know, wondering why I'm using the English terms and not, you know, Killin, Tenma, let's just, uh, you know, keep it simple. Those are the Power Rangers. Uh, names for those zords and animals. So the iconography that are on the helmet of the Die Rangers or the Squadron Rangers and the zords, when you kind of whittle it down, you get those designs. Now, just looking at it individually, you kind of don't get the sense that, oh, this is, you know, the unicorn emblem. But if you start putting them together, like side by side, then you're kind of, kind of understand what I'm talking about. Oh, definitely, yes, this is... Uh, you know, when I put this next to the other emblems, then you can definitely see that they're inspired by those particular um, zords or powers. Now, as for gender representation, okay, um, I don't want to jump the gun here, but... Uh, because there is one cool thing that that we kind of picked up on uh, when the Fan First Friday announcement came uh, came around. The Blue Ranger is using they and them pronouns and looks very much androgynous. So I would say uh, that's non-binary representation right there. Which is awesome because we haven't had one. And the thing is, I don't want to jump the gun and um you know say which genders are present but i guess um i'm just gonna leave out blue because you know you have you have blue as non-binary um but from what we're seeing here we have possibly another uh, gender swap again i don't want to jump the gun it's just that this is how it appears if they if it comes out that um, the Red Ranger is also non-binary, then, uh, yeah, then that's the case. But for now, it appears that the Red Ranger is female. So that's another um, gender swap right there. Doesn't usually happen for Red Rangers, but this is pretty cool that we're getting a female Red Ranger leading the team. Pink Ranger is still female. It is interesting, though, because in Die Ranger, there have been male um, Ho Ranger uh, before because there have been like you know it, it's it's a legacy team uh, as for the yellow and green rangers they appear to be male now whether I'm sorry I'm getting this feel from the art that it's a very progressive society so you know, there there may be more non-binary representations here or, or anything else like that. Uh, but just from looking at the designs, they appear to be male. So the yellow, green, and black rangers appear to be male. And it's interesting because, um, you know, it's just a big, big shakeup. And I like it. It's It's very cool. Now, it does, uh, they did rather say in Fan First Friday that, I'm not sure if I'm understanding it right, but these may be Morphin Masters. Now, that we know from the Boom comics that it's not just six Morphin Masters. 
Uh, but if these end up to be the Morphin Masters, I mean, we've we've seen green with a skirt. So uh, we have a male green here. So, you know, we don't really know how that's going to work. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to see. We're going to see how, how that goes. If, if it's the same team that we see in um, Dino Fury or if, if something's going to happen or if that's just a preference thing I, i'm not sure uh but yeah all of this is very cool very different a uh, very much a step in the right direction i would say uh very much in the now i also like that you know it's not i mean the die ranger suits very much Chinese iconography right there in the Die Ranger suits because you know they're using uh, the shirts, the vest. It's very much martial arts inspired, but they're able to kind of make it alien looking in the designs. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing more of how their world looks. The way it was presented in the Fan First Pr Friday um, pages, the the preview pages that they showed looks very interesting almost i don't want to say steampunk because it's not but it's it's like a it's like a modern and yet classic interpretation of what the future could look like so yeah very alien very alien and i like it um i am looking forward now one thing i want to mention is um i know some of you have been saying that you'd like to retcon the legendary squadron name but honestly if this was the first or one of the most impactful Ranger teams, then Legendary Squadron is such an appropriate name. It's it's like Mega Force, but you know, with with much more of a an epic tone to it as a name. Given the context, of course. I know I know um, it's basically the result of laziness, but given the context of what we're seeing now, Legendary Squadron sounds like an epic team, you know. Um, it's, it's it, why not, right? Why not Legendary Squadron? We got Mega Force. It's basically kind of a synonym of that. The other thing that I wanted to mention is the implications, though. I mean, we have here... Uh, a ranger using the red dragon powers, the lion powers, the unicorn, the griffin, and the firebird powers, that would mean that Zordon tapped into those powers to morph the Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Mastodon, Sabertooth Tiger, and Pterodactyl into copies of their Zords, or at least, you know, ones with the, the power of their uh, animals. So that's pretty awesome, like, uh, con getting to connect it like that. And that's something I'm very much looking forward to. Anyway, so yeah, tweet uh, tweet at me, x underscore Paco, or at Ranger Wiki, whatever your thoughts are on this, or comment down below what you think of the Legendary Squadron Rangers. And if you think that they're going to be the Morphin Masters, what are you hoping for? What are you interested in seeing? And yeah. Uh, definitely catch Power Rangers Universe when it comes out, um, you know, this December. It's already December, so yeah, uh, this uh, this month. And let's let's keep talking about it on Twitter. I'm very excited to see where this is going. I hope to see some Megaforce representation in the sense that, um, yeah, maybe we can get um, an explanation as to why um, the Super Mega Force key was green, and if we're gonna get Mega Force green, that would be very, um, that would be something that I'm looking forward to. Anyway, till next time, peace out.